Resilience is like a river. The river is full of rocks, stones, pebbles, silt. It has a direction of travel. The banks and the land define what the river is like, whether wide and flowing gently, or narrow and flowing fast. No matter the river, if the water is high enough, it whooshes over the rocks. The river stays on course. It loses a bit of momentum when it bangs into the rocks, or when it needs to shift stones and pebbles out of the way, but it still keeps going. You can see where it's going. You have perspective. When the river is low, the river bangs into rocks, losing a lot of energy in the process. It can be taken off course. It can get caught eddying. It can get split. Rocks, stones and pebbles are now out of perspective. They seem huge. They are all part of the battlefield. Your resilience, the height of your river, defines so much of how you see and experience things. With a high river, you don't get hijacked by rocks that don't matter. You bypass them. You have enough momentum to shift rocks out of the way. You have enough energy to carry some of the long-term rocks that you need to, whether that's ill health, or caring for older relatives, or a long-term issue in your work. Even when the river is a bit lower than normal, you can still use it to navigate the day, assigning the highest resilience to the highest demand, and building in rest and recovery times, so that the resilience drain is kept to a minimum. A high river feels steady and good. With a low river, things are out of perspective and you get hijacked by all sorts of things that don't matter. You don't have enough energy to carry heavy loads. You can get stopped by a large rock, preventing your flow altogether. The river can get split, or taken off course, or indeed run dry with all the effort. What's more, that in the middle of losing perspective, you can decide to add more rocks of your own in. Come and join the party. That old problem, that old habit, that way of beating yourself up about X, Y or Z, or that old relationship that was never really closed properly. You can make it worse for yourself. Bottom line, it can all feel quite overwhelming and draining. The key to your resilience river is that to attend to the important rocks, stones and pebbles in your river, you need enough resilience to meet their demand. To do that, you need to get the river level up. Getting to know what your river is like day to day will help to do that. And deciding to ensure your resilience river is the highest possible, not theoretically, but practically, can help you navigate the day successfully. The Resilience River comes from Resilience Engine Research. If you would like to find out more about our research and how our services can help support you and your organisation, talk to us today. ResilienceEngine.com